what's up guys I'm just a gamer and I'm back with another video uh, so the game awards were on Thursday it is Sunday so I've let a few days pass and I just wanted to give my overall final thoughts on what I thought of the game awards and just I mean I already basically said at the end that I truly do believe this was the best game awards that there's been in I don't know a, a long time I mean everything was just very well done. The production value was spot on. Uh, the, uh, the the splitting up of the um, new like uh, ads and stuff like that was nicely paced and stuff like that as well. And just good reveals as well. Again, I kind of wish some of the awards were like the main stage awards and not like rattled off the, on the side stage. I still do think that like maybe best music should have been a main stage award and a few others as well and again I know the whole um, you know trying to conserve time and things like that but still like some of these awards just really deserved to be on the main stage one in particular I am thankful they did put on the main stage is best audio design which hi-fi rush one I'm that made me extremely happy. I was very, I would have been so upset if that, if Hi-Fi Rush won that, and it was just one of the ones that were rattled off and just not, like got no fanfare or no, you know, stage presence. I'm really happy that they gave Hi-Fi Rush, you know, the time they they deserved. And I keep saying time, but the one criticism I have, and I've actually seen of other people uh, echo it, is just like. The time for speeches was way too short, man. I mean, they would literally get a sentence in, two sentences in, and, uh, and the music was started. You're like, dude, they, they just started. They just got up on stage. Chill. At least give them a, like, I just felt like they rushed them way too fast. I mean, obviously this was a big jab at what, um... Chris Judge uh, did, you know, his eight-minute speech and all that from last year, and they didn't want to repeat it, that and stuff like that. And but still, man, like th these people literally got like two words in before the music was started, trying to rush them off, and it's just like Jesus. Especially when like you know, I forget which uh, developer it was, but they were talking about how one of their own had passed away, and like you know, they sh they're showing like the reaction of the rest of the belly in the chairs, you know, and some of them are like tearing up, and then the music starts kicking in. You're just like, dude, give, give them at least two, three minutes to like get a few words in. Holy shit balls! That is the one stickling point that I I, I had, and I, again, I've seen other people echo it as well that they were just rushing that weight. I, I mean, if it's that bad, hey Jeff, you don't need to be on screen that much. You can have the announcer lady say, hey, we'll be back with the more game awards after these, you know, you'll, you will can have her wrapping it up instead of Jeff coming out and saying some stuff of rap and wrapping it up, you know, like if it's that bad, because it was just kind of like, damn, man, give them a break. Let them give them a moment, give them a moment to take it in and appreciate the award you're giving them. And but again, that's like the, my main criticism that I have. Everything else about the awards, I think, was actually super good. Obviously, security was extremely well done. Thanks, God, for that. I do not want to repeat of last year and the year before that. It was just oh, so heartbreaking. Just Jeff said it best. Uh, it was so disappointing to have those people do that. It was just oh my God. So this year, then, like security being tight and on point. I was really happy. They did a really good job. Again, I loved the production and the theater design of the Peacock Theater. I thought it was fantastic. And once again, I thought everything they showed uh, uh, premiere-wise or world premiere-wise was really good. Which, again, I was like, why did they keep saying world premiere? Jeff came out on a tweet saying he wants to not say world premieres anymore. And then, like, that lady started saying them, and even Jeff started using the term. So I'm just like, whoa, that, what was the point of that tweet? If he's still going to use the term, world premiere. But, um, regardless, I thought everything was shown that was really good, really tight. And, again, overall, I think this was the best Game Awards in quite a long while. And I'm actually really excited to see 
next years to see if they improve upon it anymore. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the Game Awards. I really enjoyed it. If I had to give it a grade or anything else, I would say it got an A. You know, it was a really good, solid uh, uh, award show. And the only stickling point, well, I will say a B plus, maybe an A minus, because of the whole them speeding up the people too much. I don't know why I'm putting a grade out there. I never grade things. What am I doing? Point is, I really liked it. Hopefully they improve on it even more for next year, which I am excited for. And yeah, please let me know your thoughts. Did you like the Game Awards? Did you watch it? What, like, what were your thoughts on it? Or what was your favorite uh, premiere that they showed? What did you think about the the time they gave people? Like, I really want to know what you guys think. I would love any like what you guys have thoughts on it as well. Because as always, I just always appreciate a conversation if nothing else. But those are my thoughts, uh, and and ooh. please, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like or comment down below, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'm streaming on Twitch, so please consider following me there at twitch.tv slash just the game rank, all together in word, or you can click the link below. But thanks for watching, and until next time, take care and have a good game.